to another reaction. We are jumping into another 90s realm reaction. I think we're gonna make a playlist and it's gonna be called 90s Nostalgia. Um, and I, this, this show was one of my favorite shows as well growing up. As I'm getting older, I just wanna reminisce. And as the Friends, the, new, the show that I'm now doing, I didn't see the first season of obviously this show either. But we are going to jump into it now. If you want me to continue The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, you have to comment down below. You have to like this video and share this video. Now, the views aren't viewing, the numbers aren't numbering, the likes aren't liking, and the comments just will not comment. I drop shows like a bad habit. Womp, womp, womp. But hopefully, you guys will want us to continue. And then I'll just have like my 90s TV shows. Now, mixed in with my regular reactions of other shows. So what I'm thinking, um, you guys can feel free to comment down below as well of, as of other shows, but I also really think I'm gonna jump into maybe a first episode of the Bill Cosby show. Although he is, what he did was horrible and what he was convicted of was horrible, right? The show itself with all the other actors in it um, and actresses, we can't like throw them to the side, right? That's how I view it. And that show was a really big part of my life growing up. I also didn't see the earlier episodes of that show either. I was also thinking of, um, there was uh, Family Matters. We could possibly jump into that. And there's a, few, there's a few other shows that I was thinking of, but also there's shows that I've never seen before other than little clips. Like I never seen Cheers. I've never seen any of these other shows. So there's possible that we could jump into them. I used to watch Blossom too. Like I'm just reminiscing, but feel free to comment down below suggestions that we could possibly do as we also do new content. Now, as you guys are walking in, you're taking off your jackets and getting super excited to be here for the 90s nostalgia, I have a link down below that will bring you to my other channel, Andres Reacts. So please click that link and you'll be able to go over there and subscribe as well. So please like, share, comment, subscribe to my other channel. And if you want to see this reaction, as well as all my other reactions, you know what to do. There's another link. There's so many links. Please click the link to Patreon and sign up to Patreon today and help support the channel. Thank you. Now, without further ado, let's jump into The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and find out exactly what this show has got to give. This is a story all about how my life got twisted upside down. West Philadelphia, born and raised on a playground of hills, spent most of my day. Got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel-Air. I was finally there, sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel-Air. Must have got the wrong crib. But I ain't know with so many brothers living in this neighborhood. I am Jeffrey, your uncle's butler. Oh, okay, well, uh, cheerio with all that water now. <laughs> if you will follow me, I will show you to your room, Master William. Tradition dictates that a clean, unbreakable line be drawn between a family and their butler. You address me as Jeffrey, and I in turn address you by your proper title. Master William. I'm not down with that, man. Make it sound like we back on a plantation somewhere. Like, Master right. William! Master William! <laughs> What would you prefer? Take this. His royal freshness. That's dope. <laughs> hey, and Viv. How are you doing? Hi. <laughs> Last time we saw you, you were this funny little boy. Now look at you. Oh, my goodness. It is amazing. You certainly have grown, Will. Well, we all have. <laughs> Stupid dope. Oh, no, that, that doesn't mean what you... Um, how would you say? The flight was really neat. Yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey, would you take Will to his room, please, and help him get settled in? Yes, madam. You hear that language? Oh, we used slang when we were kids. So, Vivian, that is a bad dress. Now, you could have just said it was a good dress. I said if I liked it, actually, it was a bad dress. <laughs> Philip, come in some slack, please. He's my nephew. And I would just appreciate it if you would try to understand him. Next time I go to my room, I'm going to take some breadcrumbs. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
Hey, my little Scottish cousin. <laughs> Please to make your acquaintance. I'm your humble servant. Good luck, Mom. The pool heater's broken. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Oh, yes, that is my pet peeve. Promised your mother that you're here to work hard, straighten out, and learn some good old-fashioned American values. Hillary, your cousin Will is here. Hi. Dad, I need $300. <laughs> I need a new hat. <laughs> For what? Probably her head. Take the bus all over town to protest air pollution, and then we're going to motor to the beach and have a big bonfire. Don't you think driving a big old bus around town and then having a bonfire sort of adds to the problem of pollution? What do you think? <laughs> Look, if this weren't a good idea, I really, really don't think Ellie Sheedy would be involved. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look who's here, Benson. <laughs> Your uncle has invited several of the partners from his law firm to dinner. Are we having a party? Oh, so we're gonna get stupid, right? Some of us, that will require very little effort indeed. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Mm -hmm. oh, this is nice. You're very talented. Well, I'm glad I'm good at something. Well, when I auditioned for Mrs. Berkeley, I couldn't remember all the words to the song. You should try being a rapper. It's like when you're rapping, you mess up the words and make up some new ones right there on the spot. Didn't get into Miss Berkeley's chorus. I'd like to hit her in the head with her Jason Thorne. Yeah. This whole town of Bel Air buzzing. Get a load of me and our rapping cousin. Look who's here, Will. Hey. Who is he? <laughs> when you two were little, people used to think you were twins. You looked exactly alike. Oh. Guess some things never change. Well, he was a great man. I don't know if I'd call him my hero exactly. Oh, really? Who are your heroes? Well, my dad. Have you ever attended a formal dinner before? You know, other that thing at Buckingham Palace. No. Enjoy yourself and, when in doubt, do whatever Carlton's doing. <laughs> now, I think we're twins, but I'll bet they think we're brothers. You know, I don't think you have to worry about anybody mistaking you for a brother. <laughs> and tomorrow, I'll introduce you to the gang. Maybe we'll play a set of tips or two. <laughs> <laughs> He's upstairs changing. Not Will. President Reagan. <laughs> Maybe you should call his house. No, no, I don't want him here. Why not? Because he'll bring her. I mean, every square foot of rainforest that's cut down brings us just one step closer to global warming. Oh, I had no idea it was such a serious problem. Where can I send a donation? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Philip, don't make a big thing out of it. If this is how he feels comfortable, it's not killing anybody. Uh, this is Will, my nephew by marriage. <laughs> going to go to Bel Air Academy with Carlton. Oh, good for you, Will. I used to fence at Bel Air. How much do you think we could get for that stereo? <laughs> <laughs> How could you do that? It's all in the tongue. It's later. <laughs> Will, there are other people at this table. Any requests? <laughs> Hey there, Lord, my name is Ashley Bay. My family and friends want to give you something. Thank you, God, for this stupid food. <laughs> no, check this out. I'm going to be down here for a little while long, won't you? Hop on in the kitchen, give me some cocoa. Officially go off duty at 9 p.m. Do you require anything further of me? No, Jeffrey. Then I shall retire. Man, it's a bit hard. <laughs> skewering everything with your flippant shenanigans. <laughs> Man, I, I was with you up till skewering. <laughs> you deliberately tried to embarrass me tonight, and I don't get it. Your aunt and I went through a lot of trouble to bring you out here. You told me yourself, I gotta straighten out and when in doubt, act as Carl next. Man, I don't wanna be like Carl. You think it's cool to be on the streets when you're 17, but when you're my age, it's a waste. Yeah, I can't think that far ahead. I don't know, somewhere between Princeton or the office, you got soft. You forgot who you are and where you came from. You think you're so wise. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Now, you have a nice poster of Malcolm X on your wall. I heard the brother speak. So before you criticize somebody, you find out what he's all about. Oh, I can't tell my oh, side of the story? you can't tell your side of the story. I know what you're all about. <laughs> I seem to be missing a Walkman, you know? So if it, like, shows up anywhere, like, I don't know, on your head, maybe? Dad won't let me get one. How come? He says he wants to hear everything I'm listening to. Father's going to say or do things that may seem irrational or hard for you to understand. It's not that he doesn't care about you. It's that he's from Mars, Ashley. <laughs> you like the big brother I never had. Oh, what, what are you talking about? You got purple. Here I have you. Oh, I think you better show me a full bathroom. I don't want to take no chances. <laughs> No. You've been there for long, is this just like a pit stop? Stop hounding me. I'm trying to take off my makeup. I knew it! <laughs> well, well. That was a great, great episode. Um, I loved this. So, yeah, 
I didn't see the beginning, like I said, I didn't see the beginning um, season of The Fresh Prince, but it was really interesting to see, like, the start, the first episode. And also the intro music was like, literally three minutes long. It was a whole intro music. Um, I also know that he, I think he said he made that song, obviously, for this show. Now, um, isn't it great to see Uncle Phil? And by the way, Vivian, this Vivian, the first Vivian, was my favorite Vivian. The older, the other Vivian that came in later, the lights, the lighter skin uh, Vivian, I didn't really like her that much. Like, I, like she wasn't bad, but she just wasn't my favorite. I loved the, I loved the original. Um, I am going to watch more of this show if you guys want us to continue. So please like the video, share the video, and comment down below. As I stated before, if you if you don't want us to continue, at least we dived into the first episode. If you want us to continue on with this 90s nostalgia, that I would be more than happy to do just that. It really, like, like this episode, I just, majority of my reaction was just me being quiet. I was enjoying it. I felt like as soon as it started, I felt like being a, a kid again, my body shrunk, my age turned. I was back to being like seven, eight, nine, however old I was when this came out. And it's honestly a thrill to watch it. I'm not really sure how many reactors watch like 90s TV shows. I'm sure there's other people out there, but I feel like we just need to remember like these older shows. Um, because it just feels good. It's like a real good feeling. Um, so regardless, if you guys want me to continue, if not, just comment down below and let me know how you feel about us doing 90s nostalgia. Hopefully more people are going to be into us doing this. The sharing, the liking, the comments really will do wonders for it. Um, and I think that's all I have to say. I think. I think, I think I'm gonna wrap it up with that. Um, thank you guys so much for being here and I'll see you next time with more reactions.